A hot and humid day here in the Wabash Valley, and now we are on alert for the potential of some severe thunderstorms. In fact, a severe thunderstorm watch has been issued for a good chunk of the News 10 viewing area. Earlier, it was just for many of our Illinois counties, but now it includes Vigo, Vermilion, and Park counties. This is in effect until 9 o'clock tonight, and there's nothing locally on the Storm Team 10 storm tracker, but those thunderstorms are just to our northwest. So you can see all that lightning being detected. The main threat's going to be along the north of Interstate 70 initially, because this is where we have the strongest complex of thunderstorms. So we can zoom in there a little bit closer. You can see they're moving off to the east at about 35 miles per hour. There is a severe thunderstorm warning just northwest of our viewing area, and that warning is for the potential of 70 mile per hour wind gusts. So this is getting ready to cross over the Interstate 57 corridor. So it's still going to be a little bit before it makes its way into the Wabash Valley. But here are a few times of arrival, most of these outside the viewing area. Tuscola, Illinois at 430 Central Time, making it into Oakland around 525. And then if this holds together, Dana, Indiana around 642 Eastern Time. So it's still at least an hour before this gets into the heart of the Wabash Valley, but definitely something we're going to keep an eye on because the heat and humidity we have today is really allowing these thunderstorms to blow up as they move towards us. So here's a look at future cast. We'll time it out through the rest of the evening. Plenty of sunshine and going to be hot if you're doing anything elsewhere, especially down to the southeast where the rain won't make it for a while longer. Now as we advance this through here, six o'clock, you can see that line continuing to advance in. And then by the time we get later on into the evening, it starts to make more of an impact south of the interstate. Unfortunately, moving into areas that really don't need any rain after all the rain that fell on Monday going into Tuesday. Here we are at 10 o'clock and we're still going to have scattered showers and thunderstorms across the Wabash Valley and that's going to continue really through the overnight hours and into the day on Thursday. Here's 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Some additional development of some showers and thunderstorms. So while there may be a weakening trend with this line of storms as it crosses the state line, you're not out of the woods if you're down here into places like Linton, Washington and Ligoti because as we get into tomorrow, that's when you guys could see even more development of some of these scattered showers and thunderstorms. If it's not, it's not going to rain all day tomorrow, it's going to be a cloudier and cooler day with the threat for those occasional showers and thunderstorms. And that's really going to take us as we get into the evening on Thursday, even going into Friday. We're going to keep scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast. Again, not washouts entirely, but definitely the possibility for some rain. Now, right now, it's hot and humid across the News 10 viewing area. 91 in Terre Haute, 90 in Olney, 89 in Vincennes and Casey, but feeling much more uncomfortable than that. If you've been outside, you know that. Heat index values in the triple digits for many areas. 105 the current feels like in Paris. 103 is what it feels like in Olney, and it feels like 104 down in Vincennes. Now the pollen forecast going to be lower tomorrow because of all the rain and then in the moderate category Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It's your forecast for tonight. 72 degrees with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could be strong and we also have the potential for some heavy rain when we're working with all that moisture that's up in the air. And as we get into tomorrow, 82 degrees, so mostly cloudy and cooler with occasional showers and thunderstorms. Severe weather doesn't look to be a big concern tomorrow, but definitely the potential for some more heavy rain as we get into tomorrow night, dropping down to 72 with scattered showers. Otherwise, a mostly cloudy night and the wind will become calm. As we look at the next seven days, again, a, almost a daily chance of rain, not going to rain every one of these days, especially the weekend. There should still be plenty of dry time, especially in the morning, but pop-up showers and thunderstorms will be possible both Saturday and Sunday afternoon.